Yo, what is up everybody? It's your girl, Sarah. Today we're diving into a country I'm obsessed with, Belgium. We're talking about the food, the architecture, the vibes, it's next level. So buckle up because we're jumping into the top 10 places you have to visit in Belgium. Seriously, if you've been sleeping on Belgium, this is your wake up call. Let me know in the comments which spots you're dying to visit. Or if you've already been there, drop your experiences down below. Let's make this a conversation. First up Brussels, it's the capital, it's bumping and it's got that international vibe. Gothic buildings one minute, then BAM! Art Nouveau hits you in the face. And the food scene, oh my god, the food scene. Waffles, fries, chocolate, beer, it's a culinary journey. What do you guys think makes Brussels a must visit? Is it the grand place? The mannequin piz? Hit me with your thoughts in the comments. Next up Bruges, this place is like walking into a postcard. Canals, cobblestone streets, medieval buildings, it's magical. It's got this rich history as a trading hub, and you can feel that energy in the air. Plus, you can get lost in the canals on a boat tour, which is something everyone should experience at least once. Are the canals and medieval buildings of Bruges as enchanting as they say? Let me know. Okay, Ghent. This city doesn't always get the hype it deserves, and that's a crime because it's amazing. Imagine the charm of Bruges but with a bit more of an edge, a bit more youthful energy. It's got this cool, artistic vibe, tons of students, and it's just a really vibrant place to be. Plus, the architecture here is off the charts. St. Bavo Cathedral, Gravenstein Castle, all these amazing medieval structures. Have you guys ever just wandered through the historic streets of Ghent? What did you think? Drop a comment and share your experience. Now, let's talk about Antwerp. This city is a powerhouse. It's known for its fashion, its diamonds, and it's got this really cool art scene. We're talking the MAS, the Rubens House, and a ton of cool galleries and street art. Antwerp is one of those cities that just has this infectious energy. Have you guys been? What was your favorite part? All right, Leuven. This city is a bit of a hidden gem, but trust me, it's worth a visit. Leuven is a university town, so it's got that youthful, energetic vibe but it's also steeped in history. We're talking about the longest bar in Europe, guys, plus the Grote Markt, which is this stunning square surrounded by beautiful Gothic buildings. And don't even get me started on the festivals. Louvain knows how to throw a party. If you've been lucky enough to experience the magic of Louvain, hit me with your stories in the comments. Let's discuss. Time to switch gears and head to the great outdoors. The Ardennes region is pure magic. Rolling hills, dense forests, winding rivers, it's like stepping into a storybook. Whether you're into hiking, kayaking, biking, or just chilling by a lake, the Ardennes has something for everyone. Plus, there are castles. Castles nestled right into the landscape, which is just like next-level cool. Seriously, the Ardennes is one of those places that just makes you feel alive. Who's down for a hike? Now back to the cities. Mechelen is often overlooked, but it's a real charmer. It's got this adorable historic center with cobblestone streets, a beautiful cathedral, and a really cool carillon school. You can climb to the top of the cathedral tower for some insane views of the city, which I highly recommend. Have you guys experienced the charm of Mechelen? Share your stories. Dinant is one of those places that just takes your breath away. It's nestled in this valley on the banks of the Meuse River, with dramatic cliffs rising up behind it. And perched on top of one of those cliffs is the Citadel of Dinant, this fortress that dates back to the 11th century. Which landmark is your favorite? Liege, Liege, Liege. This city is a vibe. It's got this industrial past, so it's got that grit, but it's also got this really cool arts and culture scene. We're talking about the Grand Curtius, the Montaigne de Boiron, and a ton of cool bars and restaurants. What aspect of its culture fascinates you the most? Last but not least, we're heading to Namur. This city is located at the confluence of the Sambre and Meuse rivers, and it's got this really cool strategic importance. The citadel of Namur is a must visit, and the old town is perfect for wandering around and soaking up the atmosphere. Which of these places are you dying to visit the most and why? Let me know in the comments. That's a wrap on our whirlwind tour of Belgium. We covered a lot of ground, from the bustling streets of Brussels to the tranquil canals of Bruges. 
I hope this video inspired you to add Belgium to your travel bucket list. Hit me with your favorite destination in the comments below. Was it the charm of Bruges, the energy of Antwerp, or maybe the natural beauty of the Ardennes? Let me know. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more travel adventures, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.